Someone's lit a burning bat symbol on the Gamby store rooftop. A beacon or a threat? Time to find out. I trust you have not forgotten me, Batman. Azrael. Dark days are here, Batman. The prophecy has come true. From the ashes of Arkham City, the fires are raging, and Gotham is burning. What do you want? I can see that same fire in your eyes. Before this night is through, that fire will consume you. Gotham will need a new savior, a new guardian, a new Batman. I'm not finished just yet. You cannot carry this burden forever. I have studied you for a long time. You have a code. You will not kill. Then neither shall I. The Order has foreseen it. The time has come to pass the mantle to another warrior. To me. If you can prove your abilities, when the time is right, I'll consider it. But first, you must show you are worthy. As you wish. was just the beginning. There are more challenges ahead. Contact me when you're ready. Sir, I've captured Azrael's performance. Good work, Alfred. Run the usual physiological tests. Then am I to understand you are considering him as your successor? None of us know what will happen after tonight. I'll be in touch. Alfred, run analysis on the blood sample I just uploaded. Right you are, Master Bruce. I'm searching for possible matches now. How you managed to get this sample is beyond me, sir. Ah, here we are. The blood is heavily mutated, but we have a partial match, a Dr. Kirk Langstrom. Search for any properties in Gotham owned or leased by Dr. Langstrom. Certainly. Uh, let me see. Ah, he and his wife lease a basement laboratory in Chinatown. I'm sending you the address. Alfred, I found a mutilated body, but this isn't the one Cash told me about. 
I'm going to try and establish a cause of death. Blood tests reveal the cause of death was an overdose of painkillers leading to cardiac arrest. Also, the victim's fingerprints have been burned off with acid. A rather unsavory demise. That's not all. It's as though the subject's DNA has been corrupted somehow. There's insufficient information for me to cross-reference the database. I'll have to use the deep tissue scanner to analyze the body for distinguishing features and determine the victim's identity. Right you are, sir. An irregularity on the victim's chest. It appears to be a birthmark, quite distinctive. There's a bullet lodged deep in the upper bicep. This type of ammunition is predominantly used with a hunting rifle that hasn't been manufactured in over a decade. The left foot is missing several toes. The site of amputation suggests the removal of non-viable tissue in the treatment of frostbite. Alfred, I've ID'd the victim as Robert Kincaid. He was a microbiologist who worked for Stag Enterprises. Many believe the shooting was connected to Kincaid's knowledge of controversial research, although that remains unverified. He took a teaching post in Atlanta, which is where he was reported missing. What's unusual is that they didn't go missing in Gotham. They were brought here and killed. Why? We need to track down whoever did this. Might I suggest keeping an ear out for any more of that ghastly opera music? It sounds ominously like a calling card. Someone killed me. Mutilated and posed a body on Merchant Bridge. If I'm going to stop them, then I need to investigate the crime scene for clues. Alfred, I found another body. The mutilation pattern looks to be identical to the previous murder victim. Then it appears Gotham does indeed have a serial killer in its midst. And here I was thinking this evening couldn't get any worse. I'm going to scan the body for unique identifiers. I've seen that pattern of scar tissue before. It's a bite mark. Analyzing its radius points to a species of Salacomorpha. This particular variety of shark is only found in the waters off the coast of North Gotham. The victim is fitted with an ocular prosthesis. This specific type of medical grade acrylic was used only once during a trial five years ago. Signs of trauma to the upper arm. At some point, titanium screws have been implanted to repair a fractured humerus. Alfred, the victim's name is Lisa Mendez. Uh, she had quite a troubled upbringing, sir. Orphaned age nine, foster homes, drug abuse. She developed a talent for surfing, hence the shark attack. Tragically, it's also how she lost her boyfriend. She was working for a Christian charity in Tucson, Arizona, when she went missing. Another person taken from outside the Gotham area. A significant detail, sir. So are these words written beside the bodies. Try and find a connection between the two victims I've found, Alfred. There has to be something linking them together. I'll try my best, sir. Fueled hobbyist? 
I don't believe it. Why, I, I, I refuse to believe it. It's not true. Not true. Now, Batman, where were we? We. I am ready for another challenge. I thought you'd be better. <laughs> You have shown great skill. I'll return when you're ready for the next challenge. No matter how difficult the test, I will prevail. Another competent display, sir. He was clearly studying your techniques closely during his time in Arkham City. Initial tests show he is employing an almost identical fighting style to your own. It takes more than that to defend this city, Alfred. Agreed. I'll collect the data from this encounter and compile it with the first. Let me know if you need anything else, sir. Alfred, we can add a third victim to the list. This is becoming rather ghastly, sir. It brings to mind a spate of murders at the beginning of your career. It was Halloween then, if I'm not mistaken. Turned out to be rather a long one, if I recall. I'm going to try and identify the body. That particular type of bleaching to the pigmentation of the skin denotes a chemical burn. Most likely a chlorine-based substance. Tracheal surgery to remove a cancerous growth has resulted in the victim being fitted with a voice box. The victim suffered a rare genetic disorder causing them to have six fingers on one hand. Alfred, the victim's name is Allison Weirs. She was an engineer employed at Ace Chemicals. That would certainly explain some of her ailments. She moved into a retirement home in Bloodhaven several years ago. Their grounds are adjacent to a large park. That's three victims, all of them abducted in various places around the country. Keep looking for a connection, Alfred. Right you are, sir. The writing by the bodies suggests the killer has a higher purpose. It's as if these weren't good enough for what he has in mind. Do you think there are other victims? Yes, and I don't know what he has planned for them.
Alfred, I found a fourth victim. Highly regrettable, Master Bruce. All we can do is hope this body yields some clues as to the killer's identity. This wound is relatively fresh, inflicted while the victim was still alive. Abrasion to the epidermal layers confirms the somewhat crude removal of a tattoo. The position of this scar indicates the victim underwent surgery to remove one of their kidneys. A plate made of tantalum, used here for a cranial fracture, most probably the result of a boxing accident. The victim's callous knuckles would only be acquired by a professional fighter. Alfred, the victim's name is Ella Montgomery. It appears the kidney was donated to a twin sister who unfortunately died. This seems to have been the catalyst for her boxing pursuits, and hence the cranial injury. She went missing in Huntsville, Alabama. Have you found anything linking the victims? I can find no personal or professional links between the victims, but they each went missing near state parks or playing fields. Try and find anything connecting those places. Of course, sir. I'll look into it. That tortured creature was once a man, Dr. Kirk Langstrom. There must be a cause for this transformation. His lab might hold the answer. Proceed with caution, sir. The creature could well be hiding in familiar surroundings. Blunt trauma to the head. Langstrom had no idea what he was doing. There's a computer. Maybe it contains some answers. This computer stores all of Dr. Langstrom's research. his DNA with a vampire bat? That was never going to end well. If I search through his files, I may be able to create an antidote to his condition. 
I need to isolate the man bat signature and remove it from Langstrom's DNA. That's it. I've created a clean DNA sample. Now all I need to do is make him take his medicine. Alfred, I've synthesized a cure in Langstrom's lab. Now I just need to find him. Any idea where he may be hiding? He's not in control of his actions. He could be anywhere. No one knows this city better than you, Master Bruce. You'll find him. Challenge me again, Batman. I am ready. You're a competent warrior, but one final challenge awaits you. Contact me when you're ready. Be prepared for my victory when I return. He's nothing if not persistent, huh? You still don't seem convinced. Just keep compiling the data, Alfred. It might interest you to know I've been researching the insignia on Azrael's armor, and it appears to bear the motif of the Sacred Order of Saint Dumas. The Order dates back several hundred years, they have a sworn mission to protect Gotham, but records are scarce, with many speculating their existence was nothing more than a myth. Good work, Alfred. See what else you can find. Administered the antidote, but it wasn't enough. 
I need to track him down and inject him again. Alfred, I found a fifth victim. I feared you would, sir. Scar tissue on the upper arm. I recognize the pattern. Twenty years ago, this was a badge of honor among inmates at Blackgate Penitentiary. A small group of racketeers known as the Bloodhaven Six. Remnants of a pacemaker fitted through the right ventricle. If I cross-reference the manufacturer with the pacing method, it will help to narrow the search. Clear signs of bone deformation on the victim's knee. Joint line sclerosis points to juvenile arthritis, a rare and debilitating condition. Alfred, I've ID'd the victim as Franklin Accardo. His records are a litany of drug-related offenses, sir. In and out of prison from an early age. He was serving a 20-year sentence at Blackgate before being released early on grounds of ill health due to a heart condition. He moved to Little Rock, Arkansas, which is where he was reported missing. Do the details of the disappearance match with the others? They do indeed, sir. Also, your request to cross-reference the parks and playing fields has proved fruitful. I've come across some leasing documentation that appears to have been falsified. Someone is attempting to cover their tracks. Find out anything you can, Alfred. We couldn't have done anything to prevent these deaths, but we can still save others. Jack Ryder's been investigating something dangerous. It drew him to the Lady of Gotham. I should track him down. This won't end with a Pulitzer. I am ready to face your final challenge. It's the toughest yet. You are to be commended, Azrael. You have passed the test. I will contact you when I have made my decision. There is no decision to make, Batman. I am ready now. I decide how this works, not you. Every moment you waste, Gotham falls deeper into the abyss. Make your decision fast, or she will be lost forever. Sir, we have a positive ID on Azrael. His real name is Michael Lane. 
He was a GCPD officer before he was dismissed due to psychological issues. And then, well, he seems to have disappeared off the face of the earth. That must have been when he was recruited by the Order of saint Dumas. It gets decidedly more peculiar, sir. The bad computer has picked up an irregularity in Lane's physiology. I've not seen anything like this before. Upload the data to the clock tower. I can analyze it from there. Right you are, sir. My dear brethren, we are gathered here in honor of the one true father. Blesses our lives with light when we are surrounded by darkness. Who dares disrupt this ritual? Batman, is that you? C -c Get me out of here! This is sacred ground, heathen. You do not belong here. But God has sent you so that I may bathe in your blood, too. My children, the devil comes clad in black. Slay him where he stands. Quickly, the time of sacrifice draws near. Grab a gun! Rope him good! I never killed him. What time are you, crazy bastard? in immortality. Don't do this, please! I've faced death more times than you can possibly imagine. I'll still be here when you're dead and gone, Batman. Gotham will be mine. Spare me this sermon. What took you? I'm kidding. Looks like I got my story. This is it, Batman. This could get me back in the game. My own show. Hey, first guest, how about it? The real Batman. Your story! I'm taking you back to GCPD.
You're stepping into my church now, Deacon. Look around you, Batman. Look at what you seek to protect. Gotham is fallen. Why are you still fighting? This is over. I say when it's over, Blackfire. Take him down to the cells. Hey, don't look too pleased to see me, officer. I won't. I appreciate your busy Batman, what with all the other criminal masterminds on the loose. But I assure you, my scheme is by far the most intellectually engaging. So get thee to the train yard! I'm sending over the data on Michael Lane now. I'm no neurologist, sir, but I can quite confidently assert that doesn't look like it belongs in one's brain. It's a surgically implanted microprocessor interfacing with the temporal lobe, the region of the brain used for storing and accessing memories. Which memories, sir? Visualizing now. Azrael, protector of faith, defender of purity. The Order of San Dumas has safeguarded Gotham for over 500 years. And it is your sworn duty to continue our legacy. You have studied the Dark Knight for years, learning his every strategy, analyzing his every tactic, perfecting his every move. Now it is time to complete your mission. Seek out the Batman. Prove that you are his worthy and trusted successor. Only when you have won the Batman's trust will you be able to fulfill your destiny. His intentions do seem pure, sir. Are you suggesting these recollections have been tampered with? I am. Alfred, I know this symbol from Arkham City. It's the Order's sacred language. They've implanted markers into Lane's memories to modify his behavior unconsciously. If I can find the other markers, I'll be able to reconstruct the waveform and reveal the message. Scanning that marker has reconstructed part of the waveform. It's working. Another portion of the waveform has been restored. Almost there. There's probably one more marker to find and scan. That's it. The waveform is complete. This should reveal the message. The Dark Knight stands in the way of our cause. He prevents the evil of Gotham from facing true divine justice. When you have proven yourself, wait for your moment and then strike him down. Take your rightful place as Gotham's new guardian. A guardian wholly willing and relentless in his quest to protect this city. They certainly don't mince their words, do they, Master Bruce? How will you stop him? He won't. Lane. Lane is dead. I am Azrael, knight to the Order of San Dumas. The Order has lied to you, stolen your free will. Liar! You stand in the way of true justice! We're on the same side, Michael. No. No! I know who I am. I know what I am doing. In that case, the choice is yours. Protector of Faith. You know what must be done. The Dark Knight must be slain. Azrael, complete your mission. You made the right decision, Michael. 
I do no one's bidding but God's. The Order must answer for what they have done to me. Capture Dr. Langstrom and administer the cure. I need you to prep an isolation chamber. I'm bringing him in. Sure thing. I'll get right on. Just when I think I've seen it all. He gonna be okay. Physically, yes. Uh, where's Francine? Where, where is she? She's dead, Kirk. No. She can't be. I, I didn't. What have I done? The serum. It changed you. You lost control. What have I done? What have I done? What have I done? Sweet, 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 I think Ivy tried to brainwash me with those pheromones of hers when she was here. I resisted. When I get home, I'm making salad. We thought the person inside that suit. Good to see you back here, Batman. I knew you wouldn't give up. Someone killed, mutilated, and posed a body on Merchant Bridge. If I'm going to stop them, then I need to investigate the crime scene for clues.
Alfred, I've discovered another body. Six victims, Master Bruce. When will this nightmare end? Deformity on the left ear. Looks like a result of minor ear agenesis, a birth defect. A wedding ring in the lower intestine. The inscription reads, Ophelia. The victim had a hip replacement. Scar tissue hasn't fully healed, so it must have been recent. Alfred, the victim's name is Anthony Lund. Hospital records show he suffered with alcoholism, most probably brought on by the breakdown of his marriage. The name on the ring, Ophelia, his ex-wife. He was last seen in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Cross-reference this with the others. See if it fits. It does indeed, sir. Sending you the information now. The Circus of Strange. Its route recently took it through all the locations where the victims went missing. Get me a list of associated names. The Circus is run by a rather suspicious fellow named Laszlo Valentin. Search for any properties owned or leased by the suspect. Records show Mr. Valentin used to lease a beauty salon here in Gotham. But the lease expired shortly before construction began on Wayne International Plaza. Send through the location. It's time to end this. You're done here, Valentine. Let them go. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Pig, not ready yet. <laughs> She's all unique and wrong. All messed up inside out. Pig, make her better. Pig, make all of us better. It's over. But Pig can fix you too. Make you perfect like the others. <laughs> You're insane. <laughs> and what are you? I'm here to stop you. Bad, bad, bad. Pig is like clay. Pig is like God. Pig is here to fix us all. They're immune to pain. I need to make sure they stay down.
for you back. <laughs> I mean to make you perfect. Make, make you pretty. Where are you taking me? Let him go back to his sack. I'm taking you where you won't be able to hurt anyone else. I'll make sure of it. He doesn't hurt. He heals. He fixes. My Dolatron's Those people are living a fate worse than death. Not death. The pig makes life worth living. And the ones you murdered? Too broken for pig to make death. Too imperfect. <laughs> they make mother angry. Make pig feel sick. Those things you couldn't change. It's how I identified the bodies. It's how I caught you. It's why you failed. No. Not fail. Oh. <laughs> Pig show you sick. Mm, like to see? You've got problems, Valentine. Out you go, Valentine. Don't, don't lock. Pig away, mother won't be pleased. <laughs> Pig, not good enough. <laughs> oh, never good enough. So close, until you stopped me. I can do better. <laughs> so much better. It could have been so perfect. You're going to be in here for a long time, Blackfire. Child, these bars cannot hold me. When the time comes, God will dissolve them like the hot wax of a candle, and I will be free. I'd keep praying if I were you. Oh, I will. I'll pray for everyone, for all Gotham's lost children, especially you, Batman. I'll do one special just for you.
Well, I'll be damned. The billionaire Bruce Wayne. You can add avarice to that ever-growing list of sins. You made it. When I was airlifted off my ship, I expected to be rescued, not cuffed and thrown in jail. You're even more deluded than I thought, Stag. You would know, Batman. You would know. I don't know what kind of operation these men are running here, but I demand to be moved. Do these idiots have no concept of privacy? When the courts are through with you, and you're left desperately selling off what remains of your parents' legacy, perhaps I will generously open my checkbook. I'm sorry, Kirk, but this is the right place for you. I only wanted to help people, and I've killed the one thing I ever loved. It wasn't you that did those things. I believe you never meant to harm anyone. 